Russian civil aviation continues to progress toward greater technological autonomy and self-sufficiency. The recent non-stop flight of the second domestically produced prototype of the MC-21 aircraft from Irkutsk to the Moscow region city of Zhukovsky, covering approximately 4,500 kilometers, marked a major achievement in this effort. This flight served not only as an assessment of the aircraft's capabilities, but also as an important step in its progress toward comprehensive certification testing. Amid significant transformations within the aviation sector, increasing dependence on domestically produced components, and the modernization of manufacturing facilities, the MC-21's non-stop flight demonstrates the project's maturation and readiness for the next phase. The non-stop flight from Irkutsk, the main manufacturing facility of the Irkutsk Aviation Plant, to Zhukovsky, the location of the Flight Test and Development Center of PJSC Yakovlev, served as a broad evaluation of the aircraft's endurance, stability, systems performance, and fuel efficiency under conditions closely resembling operational environments. The duration of the flight was 6 hours and 15 minutes. The aircraft maintained a cruising altitude of approximately 11,000 meters at a speed of about 800 kilometers per hour. These parameters correspond precisely to the operational capabilities of a modern medium-haul aircraft and illustrate its capacity to undertake long-range missions comparable to those of commercial flights. Captain Andrei Voropev highlighted that the aircraft operated flawlessly. He stated that all systems functioned routinely, fuel consumption remained within anticipated parameters, and the landing was executed with adequate fuel reserves. Such testimony from a distinguished Russian test pilot is particularly significant, as this iteration of the MC-21 integrates a comprehensive suite of newly developed domestic components replacing previously imported systems. Carrying out such an extensive and technically significant flight required the expertise of highly skilled specialists. The aircraft was operated by test pilots Andrei Voropev and Oleg Mutovin, both distinguished aviators with extensive experience in flight testing contemporary Russian aircraft. Alongside the pilots were principal flight test engineers Anton Kuznetsov and Grigory Kudryashov. Their duty was to continuously oversee onboard systems, analyze flight data, and record all technical details for design bureaus and certification authorities. It is particularly important to emphasize that no incidents or irregularities occurred during the flight. This represents a strong indication of system reliability and the exceptional standard of pre-flight technical preparation. Upon arrival in Zhukovsky, the aircraft was transferred to the flight test center of PJSC Yakovlev, where experts will prepare it for inclusion in the comprehensive certification program. This stage is crucial for the fully Russian-made version of the MC-21, as it involves checking all the new systems and parts produced in Russia. Another MC-21 aircraft, partially outfitted with domestic systems, is already engaged in the same program. The combined operation of both airframes will accelerate the validation of essential performance parameters and technical specifications required for market entry. The crew provided detailed accounts of the non-stop journey. Captain Andrei Voropev, esteemed test pilot of the Russian Federation, noted that the aircraft maintains stable performance across all flight regimes and reacts predictably to control inputs. His colleague, hero of Russia and distinguished test pilot Oleg Mutovin, also emphasized that the flight proceeded smoothly, confidently, and without any technical difficulties. Flight test engineer Anton Kuznetsov highlighted the advanced level of system automation and confirmed that all monitoring data aligned with the parameters specified in the aircraft's design. He reported that the aircraft demonstrated consistent performance of all new Russian components, a crucial criterion for continuing the certification process. As the MC-21 program advances, Russian airlines have started planning fleet renewal with domestically manufactured aircraft. Ural Airlines has announced plans to lease at least 10 MC-21-310 aircraft 
by the year 2030, with the first three set for delivery in 2028. These commitments signal growing confidence in the project's dependability and long-term sustainability. In parallel with aircraft development, the Russian government continues improving infrastructure and strengthening regional air transportation. The government announced the allocation of more than 1.4 billion rubles to subsidize interregional air routes, a measure aimed at improving accessibility and increasing passenger traffic on domestic flights. Another major advancement was the commissioning of a new facility at the Irkutsk Aviation Plant. The new three-story facility, spanning more than 12,000 square meters, now accommodates Workshop 232, specializing in machine tooling and molds, and Department 320, responsible for mechanization and automation. The facility includes advanced inspection areas, calibration zones, ergonomic offices, rest spaces, climate control and ventilation systems, dining amenities, a dedicated compressor station, and powerful cranes. A shuttle service links the facility to the plant campus. These upgrades create an optimized operational environment for both engineering and high-precision manufacturing. The relocation was carried out without interrupting production. Heavy machinery weighing up to 40 tons was moved along precisely calculated routes, while personnel transitioned simultaneously. This ensured uninterrupted production. The next phase includes deploying lean manufacturing tools to further increase operational efficiency. This infrastructural improvement represents not only modernization, but also a strategic development for the entire team of the Irkutsk Aviation Plant and for the MC-21 program as a whole. In final remarks, the non-stop flight of the MC-21 from Irkutsk to Zhukovsky represents much more than a technical milestone. It stands as a symbolic achievement for the entire Russian aviation industry. It demonstrates the aircraft's maturity, the readiness of domestically developed systems, and the flight crew's confidence in the aircraft's reliability. Combined with major modernization of production facilities, increased government support, and new commitments from leading airlines, the MC-21 is emerging as the centerpiece of Russia's future medium-haul fleet. This achievement reflects the collective efforts of design bureaus, engineers, test pilots, technicians, and production personnel. In the coming years, the MC-21 is expected to become the cornerstone of a new era in Russian passenger aviation, marking a significant milestone in the nation's aviation history. The flight occurred on Echelon 360-380, which is totally fine around an altitude of 11,000 meters. The aircraft showed some failures without any comments on operations or systems, including the fully domestic control system or other aircraft systems. As in fact, the entire flight, in addition to performing an ordinary route flight, evaluated the operation of all aircraft systems. Because it is very important for us at 06 Hound Rock and to use this opportunity during flights, both in Siberia and on approach in our European part, I'm absolutely delighted with the airplane's condition and performance. We flew the set route at altitude levels of 11,000 and 11,500 meters, adjusting as directed for air traffic. All parameters were operating within normal conditions. During the flight, we even enjoyed a meal on board. For nearly the entire journey, there weren't any significant issues. After takeoff, we activated the autopilot as civilian pilots typically do and navigated along the 4,300 kilometer route, ensuring everything was proceeding smoothly. The consumable 15 tons of fuel in Irkutsk were made after six flights together with the first flight to debug all systems, to check them, in order to be absolutely convinced that we will calmly pass along the air route. After all, other aircraft fly along the air routes. We need to, so to speak, observe the order of traffic on air routes. So we, having made sure in Irkutsk that all our systems are working, and the aircraft guidance system and the collision avoidance system, the air conditioning system, the pressure regulation system, since we were still on the working echelons, 383 echelon, and in general, when we convinced that everything was fine with us, we planned and overtook Zhukovsky's plane without problems, in general, without any excesses.
The aircraft showed itself from the best side of the whole system worked well. The flight is wonderful, that is. We arrived normally, without incident. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us 